Welcome back, or welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, so for today's video, you already know, I went back to the crystal shop, as I do, almost every week, multiple times a week, and I got more crystals. So I have a few things I'm going to show you. Um, so I have six new pieces, okay? I have three pieces that my mom gave to me. These weren't like purchased today or anything um, that I'm going to show you. And then I also have like one little random thing I got at Meyer. It's like a product. I just thought I'd include it because it's the more the merrier. So anyways, um, yeah, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to do the smaller ones and then work me up to the, my way up to the bigger pieces before I move on to like anything else. Um, also, if you caught it, I don't know, some people might have, some people might not have. Um, I did upload this video, this like crystal haul video, um, earlier, it was like in the afternoon, and I had cleaned my room last night, so my face was like completely stuffed, and I was sniffling, and I had sneezed a few times, <laughs> it was like kind of gross, I don't know, I just wasn't happy with the way it turned out, so it was only at like three views or two views, so I decided that I'm just going to refilm it, upload it tonight, because people watch ASMR typically at night anyways, so it's like a whole new start to this video. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Ignore this right here. My um, skin is flaring right now. It's nothing to worry about, so anyways, start with the small stuff, go to the big stuff. Okay, so this first thing, I got this little bloodstone point it's very cute my mom picked this out for me so pretty um, I think this was seven dollars yes it was seven dollars which I know is a lot for something like this but I still think it's cute and it's like a cool shape to have not a lot of people have bloodstone that looks like this like in this shape so it's fine it's unique Is this um, rutilated quartz um, so from this it doesn't look like anything special but wait till I put a flashlight on it okay so you can see now all those little things in there now I'm gonna be honest I don't know enough information to be able to tell you what crystal that is in there flashing like all those inclusions but I do know that it's beautiful and I will be um, figuring that out when I do when I record my crystals tonight in my book but I just wanted to show you how pretty that is I think it'd be so cool to have a big piece like a statement piece um, of related quartz so hoping I can do that soon let's refocus this and refix the light on it but yeah um this little guy was five dollars it was one of the biggest pieces they had and the most flashiest so i was like i got that one i'm sorry i just like fixed the lighting <laughs> okay so for these remaining um four um, three of them are towers, and then the last one is, like, the big piece. So, I'm just gonna go through the towers first, and then I'll do the big piece. <sighs> That's a lot of talking. <laughs> so, this first one I got is the sunstone tower. It's so, so pretty. And what's really unique about this piece, and what made me really want it, um, is this green crystal right here. Now, I don't know what it is. Um, I want to I don't think it's green calcite. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to do a bunch of research, but I thought this piece was literally so unique for that. Love that. Oh, uh, 
This was twenty-four dollars. You know what? I think that's backwards. I think for you it's like and then like so it's like do 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 do. I think that's what twenty-four looks to you. Now my next piece I have here is a pink tourmaline tower. Now I've been wanting a pink tourmaline for a really long time. Um, I was looking, that's the automatic air freshener. I just realized I forgot to turn that off, I'm sorry. Um, but I was looking for more of a, um, like a raw kind of thing. Um, and I realized this is raw, but it's also like polished, if you know what I mean. But I saw this and I was like, oh my god, that's so pretty. So I got it. I think this was either $35 or $38. I can't remember. Because I, I accidentally took the sticker off already. So. I kind of want to do like a visual crystal trigger video. I mean, I'll be interested. Okay. Um, so for the last tower I have, my throat just made the weirdest noise. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, my last tower is Blue Onyx. Sorry. So this is what it looks like. It is so pretty. It kind of reminds me of fluorite or kind of like um, blue lace agate. Um, fluorite because it's got like the layers that a fluorite tower would have or just any piece would. And then it reminds me of blue lace agate because see there's like a pattern in these. And if you look at some agate, you can kind of see it. No, you can't. Um, this was $38, and it's really, really unique. I have never seen anything like it, especially that shape. That's so cool. Um, so this, I think, cracked, because you can see, maybe, through these, um, this, like, rust color, there's, like, a crack going all around the rust, which makes me think that this is filler, and not, like, it's not a part of the original crystal, but even if it is filler, I literally do not mind. I think it adds a ton of character to it. So pretty. I'll have to show you in a video sometime how I organize all my crystals and how I display them. And for my last piece that's new from the store, it's my biggest piece. Now, this was made, um, I think it's man-made. They said they put it, it was made with sand. Oh, I already showed it. <laughs> it was made with sand, um, some type of crystal, and extremely high pressure and extremely high heat. And they made this. Now this is, this was 35, um, and it's really unique, you don't see this kind of crystal anywhere, um, and look at, look at that, sh that pattern, pattern, texture, that texture is really, really interesting, like you can tell it adds something like to do with sand, you know, it kind of looks like raw kyanite, how it's like, mm, I don't know. Um, this is very sharp. I stabbed myself earlier. Ow! Oh my god, I just did it again. This is very easy to stab yourself on. It's kind of dangerous. But, try and turn it up so you can see the rainbows more. And turn it down so you can see the... It's just the 
how much it shimmers and reflects. But yeah. Oh, uh, this was called something that I literally cannot pronounce for some reason, but I have a picture of it. Okay. Okay, this, this is what it's called. I can't pronounce it at all, but if you're interested in this crystal, you can look up that name. Um, so yeah, let's lock this in. <laughs> okay, so that is it for the new crystals. And then, I'm trying to get my hair away from the mic. And then for the ones that my mom gave me, there are three of them. So the first one is this fossil. Um, I know it's technically not a crystal, I don't think, but it's still very cool. Oh, this actually gives a really unique sound. If I, um, I'm thinking of doing a video of tapping on um, crystals with like long fake nails so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments um, and I will definitely do it but anyway yeah. okay um the next crystal she gave me is this excuse me I think this is orange calcite I don't know yet but looks like this and it's got like a cool texture right there you can see that it's um, reflecting on the light like but yeah it's really cute very pretty and then the last piece she gave me was this piece of blue celestite like so pretty a nice cluster of blue celestite so pretty so 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 pretty it's really fragile like little points fall off of it they look really loose like literally you can just pull it out um but this one was already loose it's not like I like it would have fallen out if I put my finger off, but I collect these in little jars. But anyway. So. So, so, so pretty. And it's the lightest shade of blue. I love it. Oh my god, I'm not out. Okay, I'm gonna put this down because it's really delicate for some reason. Okay, anyways. So lastly... Um, in my haul, it's not a crystal, it's like a product, and I just wanted to show it because, like I said, the more the merrier. Um, I got this, this, um, hair stuff because my hair is struggling, my hair is curly, right? But after I bleached it and dyed it for a few years, it's like fallen limp. It's like wavy now, but it used to be curly. So, um, in order to save my hair... I got, I was, this was recommended, I don't remember where I saw it, someone on YouTube recommended it, but it is Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curls Enhancing Smoothie, and it was only like 12 bucks, so I'm like, I'm gonna try it, if I don't like it, I know a lot of other people that have very curly hair, like my mom does, so, but I was kind of excited. The thing with this is, like, the initial smell smells good, but it, like, doesn't. It kind of stinks, but it also smells good. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce it or how to explain it, but hopefully it smells better in my hair. But yeah. So with a mixture between this stuff and oh it's not the glue 
oh it's on my desk back there it's like a protein filler for um colored hair i'm gonna try and get it smooth and soft and back to its natural curls so <sighs> to be continued on that but yeah Harry Star in the background. Okay, well, that is all that I have for you today. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're gen feeling generous, you can subscribe too. I upload it uh, pretty often. Um, also, totally lost what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. Um what? Oh god, I'm dying. Oh thumbnail. I need to take a thumbnail. Gosh. I was forgetting something. Okay. What should I So yeah, if you like the video, like it, subscribe if you're feeling generous, and comment down below what um, crystal was your favorite, and any type of videos you want to see from me. So yeah, I hope you sleep.